Welcome back to Lower Class Podcast, the most hated fucking podcast by feminists. This is Pony. And this is Iggy. Or Michael. <clears throat> so yeah, um, yeah, that introduction was a little crazy. It was a little bit cr- fucking crazy. No, actually, I. you know what? I come to terms that I'm going to go by, I'm just going to keep away from first first name first name basis just for certain facts because people like to shit talk so i don't want people to go searching my shit you know what i mean you know what i mean it's like kind of protect yeah but see the thing is that when they go on our instagram they could see us because when when i when i tag the video we we uh i mean not the video but the podcast we made yeah i tag you on that picture i know that's why I'd rather not let people know what my first name is. That's why my my name is what it is. Well, your your first name's not even there. That's good. Neither my first name is not even on my Instagram. So yeah, I kind of want to escape away from the first name basis now. Yeah, but then again, even if they were to look for us, they couldn't find us because we're only first names. Mm. But your nickname kind of thro- gives it away. <laughs> your nickname kind of gives it away. But no, yeah, who fucking cares? But yeah, uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's been what a week? No, it's been more than that. Around the area, it's been about two weeks. Uh, yeah. So recently, um, <clears throat> I uh, posted a picture on our um, on the, on our Instagram about Batman and Robin, and then I, I put Batman's on a little bu- on his little thought bubble, saying, <laughs> "No." On the and then actually no on the Robins. Uh, uh, fucking bubble it's saying uh, I don't like your podcast and on um, Batman's bubble it's saying then <laughs> don't listen to us cunt something really op- op- yeah yeah but it- but yeah it goes towards t- our fucking haters of our podcast I mean y- you could hate us as much as you want but it's not gonna stop us from doing this podcast I mean I mean I- I- I've said it before and I'll say it again if you don't like our podcast don't listen to us nobody has a gun to your fucking head and saying listen to this podcast you should listen to us we're not trying to brainwash you you know if it doesn't if it if this podcast does not interest you then don't listen to us you know what all props to them but yeah it is eh, go listen to something else <laughs> yeah I know you change know the-, the channel please. I mean, this whole podcast is all about we we don't have our we don't have a filter. We don't give we, a shit. Yeah, we don't care what you think about. You could be fucking the president for all I care. And still, we don't give a shit. But yeah, fuck it. So Michael has some good news. What was the good news, Michael? Yeah. So, anyways, after well, getting back to the story about that picture I posted on Instagram on our our low class podcast one. Uh, so it turns out there's this guy that. That uh, has his, his podcast, and he said he would like us to have to have us on his podcast. His podcast is called uh, the FMK Show, and what FMK stands for is Mar- is fuck Mary kill. You know that game, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's basically about that. It's kind of like I am comics, what Josh is doing, like because they talk about comics and movies and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So it's basically like that. Uh, so yeah, he I. He left that comment, then I responded to that comment, and then uh, probably about a few minutes later, he sent me a message saying, oh, yeah, here's a, we'd like to have you, blah, blah, he just recapped on whatever you said, and then he gave his personal number, and he's like, and he said his name was Christian, so I sent him a text, like, last Sunday or some shit, or Monday, actually. And then he said he's going to have to work shit around and find out when he, we could do it. Cool. That's good. Good. Well, that's happening, too. And then hopefully <laughs> we get reach out to Charlie Distortion. Yeah. I mean, the only issue with uh, with that that uh, being on that dude's podcast is we might have to drive a little bit too a little bit f- further. It's still in San Diego. But I don't mind. Like, it's like Oceanside or something like that. I don't that. mind the supporting the local podcast. I don't mind that. It's, it's I'm cool with it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was kind of surprised when he sent me that message. I was like, oh, shit. We were going to be on somebody, somebody else's podcast. Nice. But, yeah, that's cool. And then I, we'll have a couple of people. Yeah, it was the first offer. I've listened to his stuff. It's actually pretty interesting. I don't know if he's listened to ours yet. Uh, we'll be right back. All right. Good. Back, motherfuckers. <coughs> What's up? <coughs> What's up, motherfuckers? 
But yeah, so a little while ago, me and Michael were talking about um how I believe, me personally believe that Tupac is still alive. Michael doesn't. I mean, because his social security number is still active. And he showed me a picture of Tupac, but his head was like, like, twisted to the, twisted, his face wasn't even on the picture. It was only the back of his head. That could, all I know, that could have been an old motherfucker with a lot of tattoos that, that was bald. Man, it's an ongoing conspiracy that he's, he's on a fucking tropical island. And well, I don't, I don't believe in that because they even said that about Hitler, too. So I don't believe that. A tropical island, like, who the fuck? Hitler's dead, man. I don't know about that, man. I'm believe. pretty sure he's fucking dead. Hitler? I don't believe a lot of things. Now, he probably is... Okay, I, I could believe Hitler's... That conspiracy is ended. He's dead because he... Well, now he's dead. That was a long time ago. He's old as shit, yes. I find the Tupac one slightly more believable because he's, what, like, in his 40s or 50s Something now, like that. If he was still alive. It's around the area. Yeah. Wait, do you say, but do you believe in aliens? I don't know if I do. I'm not sure, mate. It's like, <laughs> eh. How, why, why don't you know that you believe in aliens or not? Like, you, you, you haven't settled into an opinion, into a certain uh, area. Okay, look, look, I don't believe there, there's aliens, but maybe there's life outside of this earth. Ah, that's so, yeah. Wouldn't that be considered still aliens, though? Well, I mean, other lives and other planets. Because let, if you cross the border, you're an alien illegally. Let, let's uh, agree to disagree. I I disagree with being disagreed with. Agree or disagree? <laughs> Shut up. Right. No, but because think about it. No, seriously, just think about this concept. So if you cross the border illegally, then you're an illegal alien, correct? So if there's life in other planets and they come here, they're basically aliens, right? Technically. Okay. Well, then you do believe in aliens then, right? Whatever you want to call it. Man. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying life. I'm, I'm not saying like they're not the way they're depicted in fucking movies where they come down and try to probe your ass. Well, I mean, they, there's okay. I don't believe in aliens myself, but it doesn't escape. I don't escape away from searching shit from it. All right. So I've heard. I mean, we. I know. I don't know if you know about Art Bell, but Art Bell is one of the guys who speaks a lot about the UFO sightings, aliens, and so forth. And then there's been, you know, uh, there's been situations where he gets a call from, I don't know, probably a CIA agent, FB, uh, an Area 51 um, employee or something. And all of a sudden something weird happens, like everything turns off or, you know, something like that happens. Or someone's flying. Like there's an episode where there's this guy who's flying his airplane, personal airplane, over Area 51 and he calls uh, Art Bell. And then you can hear the sirens in the background and all this shit. And Art Bell's telling him, he's like, yo, uh, you do realize that we'll shoot you down, right? And he's like, yeah, I know this. But I, I want to have this on fire. You know, I want this to be on record. So this guy's flying. And you hear the sirens. You know, those weird fucking old school 50 sirens with the nuclear... Uh, something like a nuclear well, bomb. It's, 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 it's anywhere you fly over that's restricted. You're not. It's, it's not... It, oh yeah, but yeah. but it's yeah, you, you hear in this in the background, and then you all of a sudden you hear like uh, a radio feed, and then it tells them to you know to back up or to leave the area, and all of a sudden he tells them that he he got shot down, and his wife starts crying and all this shit, but that doesn't prove anything about aliens. But as it's saying how really restricted this area is going towards that area and he was all east yeah unless you have permission to fly over that place that's fine but... yeah and and he has feed too of like people talking about aliens like like real colonels and sergeants and so forth talking that we met some and this and that well, they made so many documentaries on on air 51 who knows if aliens really do exist maybe they do maybe they don't i don't know but i know for sure there is life outside of this earth maybe i also believe in like the multiverse too like there's different mm. there's different uh, versions of ourselves. I'm I'm one of those people who believe in what I see. I haven't like don't get me wrong. But but that theory is not too far off. That multiple scientifically is not multiple multiple uh, dimensions. Yeah, scientifically yeah. and mathematically, no, of course not. Yeah, because that's why they always talk about. It makes sense a little bit. In, in a sense, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not proving you wrong. I'm just saying that me myself, I don't believe in things that I, I can't see. I mean, in order for me to believe, yeah, well, that's how everybody feels. You know, they wanna have, uh, they wanna have, uh, they wanna have, uh, you know, the, their opinion first, or 
They want to see with their own two eyes to see if it's Look, real or not. Like I was talking with Charlie, the, the you know that when we were here, I was I you know I I've seen ghosts. I mean, I be, I'm a big strong believer in ghosts. Yeah. Because I've seen it personally. I'm not. I know my. I've had um, what you guys call um fucking, what's called uh sleep paralysis. Yeah. Like, literally, when I was a, I don't know if I ever told you the story. Like when I was a kid, um. My my brothers and sisters' grandma died in the apartment that we lived in. I think we talked about right? that. Right? Okay, so, yeah. yeah. So, I felt someone choked the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked yeah. about that in one of the podcasts So, before, I believe yeah. that because I experienced it myself. And also, I've seen other shit. But uh, alien-wise, I, it's just, for me, it's really hard to even believe because I've yeah, never... because everybody wants to see that firsthand, you know? They want to say, oh, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Or if I experienced it, then yeah, I'll agree with you. But I do believe in that Tupac's still alive. But there is life out there for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, but anyways, I, we're we're getting off off topic here. <laughs> for a different podcast. We're, we're talking about t- uh, Tupac and I don't know how we got into aliens. Well, because because uh, you believe in aliens and I believe in other supernatural shit, right? But yeah, I believe Tupac's still alive. It's because the fact. I mean, again, you searched it and you saw that his social security number is still active. But maybe because somebody's using it. You know, if someone th- used identity it, theft is a big thing. Yeah, but the, what do you think? Someone would made a big deal out of his fucking identity of uh, thievery. Think about that. Like, two. But then pump. again, see, here's the thing though. That that picture I looked at. It, maybe that that social security is not. Maybe it was active at that time, but maybe people saw that and they they closed it. I don't think so. I mean, no one closes that kind of shit. No one closes a famous fucking rapper who opens. They're supposed to. If anybody dies or social security, it, it gets destroyed. You close it, but that one's still active. You get me? Uh huh. You see, see, like, is it someone using some someone really famous social security number? Famous. This guy opened so many minds out there. He was able to open. Okay, so- uh, but don't get me wrong. I like Tupac's music. He's fucking awesome, but. Come on, you got to think realistically. How, what are the, I think realistic. What's your proof that he exists? Though? Well, I mean, you found it. You found Th- that's just a social security number. Yes, no one else has that social security. No one has your social security number. When you die, that, that yeah, like you said, it diseases with you. Yeah, this one's still active. Yeah. It's still fucking active, dude. You cannot disprove that the fact that what you just saw is it's proof that that he may may. I'm not saying he's fully alive, but he may be alive. Okay, w- w- what are we looking at? 50%, 40%? So I'm looking at 50. 50. I'm, I'm a guy who looks at... That's a long shot. Yeah, I'm looking at my cap half full and empty at the same time. All right? Oh. It's a floating water, a puddle of water, all right? That's how I see it. But think about it. If you had that social security number, would you not go and investigate? I mean, seriously, think about it. Like, I would investigate... Because this is like, who the fuck has this motherfucker's social security number? I wonder what the fuck he's buying. <laughs> and the other thing, I'm pretty sure he has very good fucking credit score on top of that shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he had a good credit score. <laughs> I do because he's fucking popular. He's famous. A famous person has better score, a, pay, a better credit score than anybody else. Because I don't think he had that much money though. In that fucker early, had a lot of money, dude. But in the early '90s, he was fighting a lot of his record labels because uh, they. I think one of his labels didn't pay him. Well, because they screwed him over. Obviously, again, he 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 talked about truth. A lot of people just listened to his music because he was like thug, you know, thugged out and shit. But in reality, this guy actually, I didn't see him as a thug though. His music was very real. He didn't claim to be in any gang or nothing, you know. No, but he he does talk about him being a thug. He talks about living in the ghetto and this shit and that shit. But at the same time, he, this fucker. Was not only would was not I guess you can call it ghetto, but at the same time he also opened so many minds, saying that you know opening up. Sorry, he opened up a lot of minds. Sorry, speaking truth, he speak spoke so, like so many truths like uh old dirty bastard, old dirty bastard did the same shit. He he opened so many minds, and he he spoke the truth about everything. Yeah, Even, I mean as far as the uh, mainstream rap goes, Tupac was pretty good. Like me, like I, I believe. I, I, like me and you know obviously like we had the last conversation with Charlie we believe that there's a higher power who controls that's what we believe in and it's true because a lot of these rappers do talk about this I mean again like two Illuminati po- and shit like that something like that but again higher power but it could be the Illuminati it could be the you know whatever Baphomet it could be the Masons whatever you want to think of but there is higher power controlling I mean who 
it's it's a uh, think about it like a pyramid. So you're at the bottom. Who's controlling? And then the person who's above you is controlling you. Whoever's control above him is control again. Pyramid all the way to the top. Uh-huh. Who's controlling them? Right. That's how it works. The the one percent. Everybody always talks about the one percent. There's always the one percent. And we all know about the one percent because if now you wouldn't agree, be agreeing with me. But at the same time, again, all these rappers that you hear of, like uh, Tupac, Old Dirty Bastard, uh, some people from the Wu Tang Clan, like Old Dirty Bastard, and, and a couple other ones, even uh, what's his face, fuck, uh, Immortal Technique, fucking uh, Doom, you know, all these people talk about this shit. They always talk about how like the record labels all corrupted. Even Ice Cube talks about it. He talked about it in, in, in a lot of interviews. He's like, "Well, these fuckers is you know when I'm, he's controlling the fuck out of them." Well, it's not only it's not only rap. It's also other other genres too, like rap and punk. I mean, I mean uh, metal and punk. Well, I don't. I, I never heard anything about metal. But I've heard but about. They, but they talk about it too. They do. I mean, obviously, punk and metal do come in hand in hand. Because they speak about the whole almost the same truth. Because these people are already as as you can call it or rephrase it awake. These people don't understand the system is rigged. This game, this game of monopoly that we yeah. I mean a lot of a lot of artists like say I don't know, for example like Justin Bieber or fucking any other artists that are in that same like genre. They they want to be controlled by you know that music co- music corporation and they want to have their fucking writers write their their music yeah, for of them. And it's funny because uh, I mean, if I was a musician, I don't want people writing music for me. I have my own my own writings that I wanna I wanna sing, and I don't want to be controlled in that in that in that way, you know. And it's funny because um, a lot of these rappers, this new wave at rappers, not even the old school rappers, do talk about it. They they like um. What's her face? Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's her face? Fucking one of the famous rappers. Oh, Katy Perry talks about it. She's like, she's not a rapper. Well, whatever the fuck she was, like Pop. she, whatever. she's in between because she still she fucking goes all with uh, fucking Migos, and okay, and then she uh she talks about how how she she doesn't want to be Katy Perry. She is not Katy Perry. She says, or Nicki Minaj says that she has multiple people. Who she uh, she becomes, right? I mean, that's the system controlling you. That's uh, something different. You know what I mean? So yeah, they they tell you who they want you to be. No, they tell no. They're saying that who they are while they rap or where when they rap when they sing and they're dressed differently. That's like a uh, con- uh, controlling. Uh, that's like a uh, like MK Ultra. I don't know if you heard of this. Where I mean, they they subliminally are fucking hypnotized into being this other person these people to speak the truth they all speak the truth but we when we hear them we i guess we as a society cannot handle the truth because we are so so used to do one yes one linear you know one linear fucking line uh-huh. instead of thinking multiple lines right you only want to believe one thing because that's the way you were taught you go to school to be programmed like you, like in your computer, you only wanted to do a certain thing, and that's what you do, right? That's how it works. You only want to believe whatever they told you what to do. Like in school, they tell you, well, history that and history this, and then when you really go out there and search the history, the the history doesn't correlate, right? So that's kind of how it works. You are there to be programmed. If that's how usually that's usually how it works. I mean, you. Well, but then again, with history, you know, books they always. Uh interpret the that's and that's what i'm saying like uh, that's that, that's what they want you to believe but mm-hmm. a lot of people don't believe like a lot of people just can't handle it and they deserve, they prefer to I deny think with it history it's just kind of like it's a long shot whether you believe it or not it's really up to you because there's going to be like uh people that have their theories and say oh it actually happened this way there's way there's no way of knowing that unless there's there's actual footage or you were there true and then uh, like uh like a teacher of mine told me before, if you want to learn real history, you fucking do research on your own. And I've, <laughs> since that day, I've been doing it. Yeah. I have not stopped. And then it's, it's keep going and going. And again, you know, I like I still believe fucking Tupac may be alive. Just the fact that this fucker... That's a very small chance. Though. I believe it, dude. It's a small chance. I really believe it's it. It's not that big, man. It's really big, man. I mean, again, you saw what you saw, and you still like you. You still decide to not believe in what you saw. 
Well, come on, man. How was he going to survive that, that many shots? How do you know that was him at the same time? Again. He was with Suge Knight. Suge. And, uh-huh. In Vegas. And they were driving. And he his, his car got But it's funny up. how Suge Knight didn't fucking get shot. Suge Knight didn't get shot. Because they weren't targeting Suge Knight. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying, like, how... Like, you said, what was that? Like, a fucking... Uh, a fucking... It, what kind of gun? An auto, semi, no, an it automatic. It must have been an automatic. Okay, maybe so an automatic... Me, so an automatic usually means <clears throat> it shoots multiple areas. Like, okay, when you shoot a gun, it doesn't go straight. Obviously, it, it, it especially for uh, uh, an automatic, when you're shooting... The recoil makes you move all over the yes, place. Yes, I know how guns okay. work, you asshole. So then you understand that this motherfucker has, should have been shot too, if not died with him in that. You get me? Like, he had it, <laughs> dude, he had it to be a shot, man. Like, seriously, I, I, it's, I know it's 50-50, but I still believe in, like, the fact that he, he may still be alive. A lot of people may not agree with me, but I still agree. I still believe in this shit. What happened? Yeah, I don't feel like reading that, but I know the story about it. But right? yeah, like, but you, but a gun, dude, a, um, um, automatic gun makes you move all over the fucking place. And so, and a many chances of that gun moving all over the place, you have to get shot. A kinetic energy and my plus fucking the the recoil of it, it, you have to get shot somehow. You can't. Oh shit, I survived, and somehow the gun, the fucking bullet, just shot one person instead of. Shooting multiple fucking areas. I mean, you saw the car. The car was shot more than the whole, almost the whole thing. The whole frame was shot. All right, hold on. Let's let's see here. <laughs> I don't know. I have to find out. Okay, uh, they were blah blah. Police for playing the car. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, you. Sure. I mean. Uh, it's it, you know it it shit happens. So you, it has to be true, man. It okay, has to. right here at eleven fifteen p.m., a white four door late model model Cadillac with an unknown number of occup occupants pull over the sedan right side, roll down the roll down a window and rapidly f- fired gunshots at Shakur. He was hit four times, twice in the chest. Once in the arm and one through the one in the thigh, one of the bullets went into Shakur's right lung. Knight was hit in the head with fragments, and he's still alive. Fragmentation. How's that even possible for him to be alive and get shot in the head? I, I don't know. You see my point. The bodyguard Frank Alexander stated that he was about to ride along with the rappers in Knight's car. Shakur. Asked him to drive the car of Shakur's fiance instead, in, ca- in case they needed additional vehicles for the the drive from Club sixty two six six two to the hotel. The body bodyguard reported in his document before I wake up before I wake that shortly after the assault, one of the convo- convoys car cars drove off. After the assault him, but that never, blah, 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 whatever. But you see what my point. So <clears throat> you got shot in the head. This is your, your power button. You got shot in the head. A place where most likely you may have died already. A lung? All right. And Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Yeah, I'm talking about Suge Knight now. Fragments, though. Fragments. Yeah, he stood. Like, dude. People could have survived it with fragments. Mm, it's that close? No. I wouldn't say that because it's a I don't sedan. Know if they were that close. A sedan would be like the. I don't think they were that close when they got shot. Because he's a sedan, dude. A sedan is not that big. A sedan is pretty not, not not too small, but it is medium size. I do believe in that, but it's weird that he only got shot in the lungs and also in the fucking he fragmented on his head. But fucking uh, what's his face? Um, it's not like shards. There's, yeah. There's, see, that's kind of. Yeah, but see, he got lucky. That's because kind of, chances are those, even though if if it was, I'm not, I mean I'm not saying it was that close, <gasps> that close, but even if it was, that he has a small percentage of living. But ex- explain, uh, explain Machiavelli, Machiavelli, dude. Ex- Machiavelli. Yeah, explain that. Explain that fucking that CD. Like, he, no one knew he was, that was Tupac when he did it. 
And so he said that was my pseudo name. And then when he talks about Smack, when he uh, raps in Machiavelli, he uh, he speaks the truth. He literally, if you listen to the fucking uh, CD. I've listened to it, man. Yeah, so you see what he talks about. He doesn't talk about like little shits here and there. Oh, I was born in the ghetto on this side. You know, he talks about more than that. He talks about like exposing a lot of shit in that. And the reason he did that is to like, expose people. You know, like, but no one chooses to listen to that because he was more famous for kind of California love and all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Think about it. Like he's, he he was exposing a lot of people in that shit. Man. Yeah, he had his own theories, and he had his. He was kind of a in a way of a conspiracy theorist. You know? I don't think he was a conspiracy theorist. This fool was so popular. He, this fool cannot could not have been a conspiracy theorist because he was in the system himself. He was integrated into this game already, mm-hmm. so he. I don't believe he 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 was a conspiracy theorist. Usually, uh, so conspiracy theory was created by the CIA back in the sixties to call people who tell the truth liars. That's what they called us. That's exactly what they were. If you look it up, that's exactly what they create. They created this whole fucking one word. If you look in the def uh, the definition in the dictionary, it'll tell you. You know, some other shit. So a theory, right? But that that's what exactly what it, what was created. How it was created. Conspiracy theory was created by the CIA to th- make other people think that people who talk like this are crazy. It's just normal because when truth does come out, people think everybody's crazy. But when the when you actually see the truth, it's not crazy, right? But you can't handle the truth, so you decide <sighs> to make this fucking bubble of fucking bullshit and you just stick to it like there's been lately what what has been happening lately there's been so many fucking mass murders there's been so much dude so many fucking celebrities have been dying and everybody still believes that oh yeah they died of natural causes yeah like so you died every so, so what you're saying is it's a cover up I believe it's a cover up dude I believe in cover up because for every fucking month that it comes there's a fucking celebrity just dying already. Fucking Prince. Prince died. This fucker told everybody that there was four black presidents before the first president there was in Washington. There was four, no, six black presidents before Washington. Can you believe that? There was, by Prince. Prince knew this shit. And Prince told it, said it himself. When he found out about this, he went to make his own research. And he, so what you're saying is, they silenced these people. Of course, there's been so much there. There's been so much facts out there about uh about cover-ups that a lot of people don't pay attention, but they prefer to you know to you know just believe what other bullshit fucking the the TV tells you. It's just we're so programmed to just listen to the fucking news. Oh yes, this this or that happened, or fucking you need to dress this way because this is the new fashion. Everybody does it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're so programmed that every fucking hour or every 15 minutes we look at our phones. We're already in phase one from their fucking plan. We're looking at, we're so stuck in our phones so many times that if you go into a fucking trolley station or into a fucking office, we're looking at our phone all the time, looking at Facebook and so because we're so nosy, but we're not so nosy about look, figuring yeah. out the truth. Personal, uh, what is it, uh, Privacy doesn't exist anymore now that social social media exists now. Yeah, again, we're so stuck in them. Like once they created these uh, social media platforms like uh, fucking MySpace, Instagram, uh, Friendster, uh, Exanga, they look Facebook. At, but at the same time, look at this watch. You have those all these stupid. Ass, yeah, you look at you look at this watch. You have so many stupid ass challenges. And people still do them. And a lot of people have fucking died from doing all these stupid ass challenges. Like challenges? the ice bucket challenge, the fucking, uh, fucking the hot water challenge, the boiling pot. Well, I don't know what the fuck you call it, but it's hot. No? Okay, and there's the fucking bottle challenge, all this shit. And then, I've you heard know, the ice bucket challenge. Okay, though. so all this, we're so programmed to, and everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. It's like, oh, because these people are doing it, we might as well just do it, right? That's just, everybody does it like a fucking idiot. And then you have so many people thinking, Oh hey, uh, you're fu- I'm so fucking sensitive that oh I f- believe I have rights, right? No, like fuck, you do have rights, but you just like freaking. That so- doesn't really approve anything. Yeah, they're they're making like that ice bucket challenge. Their whatever but that, proceeds no, no, they get, they're gonna. Give the only thing that proves is that you're charity. being distracted, really yeah. easily distracted. That means you have a very. 
a very AD, ADD fucking distraction. You're like really ADD about it. You're really yeah, easily it, it, distracted. It goes to the cause of preventing whatever the truth is happening. Yeah, disease it goes to. Yeah. But you know, it, it's just like saying. Remember when that shit happened in Vegas? That one dude shut up with that when they had that festival. Yeah. And then there's all these people. The very next day, they post on Instagram and their stories like my thoughts go out to, to Vegas yeah. and blah blah. It's like. What are your thoughts going to do about it? They're not going to fix that problem. But not only that, at the same time, there's been more than one that. There's, yeah. okay, there's the Vegas, there's the France, there's the... Well, yeah, there, there's multiple. There's yeah. multiple, but everybody still chooses to go, oh my God, this uh, that these people are evil. It's like, have you ever thought about how has some of these things happen? Maybe because to be distracted about other things? Like, the, there is there is cover-ups all over the place. They did it with Yeah, they, they claim the dude, was, the dude that shot up that festival in Vegas, he was part of ISIS. They said that, but... But, at the same time, they interviewed his, his brother a bunch of times, and they said that he was a nice dude. He he was a successful gambler. And everybody... He, he gave him, he gave his brother money because and every, he was so good at yeah, it. Yeah, and it all, everybody said the same thing. Everybody said the same thing for everybody. He's like, yeah. oh, this was a, a fucking a nice person, or this shit and that shit. But at the same time, it's like... Like, Wait. he didn't have any history of violence before. I mean, yeah, his, his dad was on the wanted list for the FBI. Yeah. But from what his brother and everybody else said, he said he was a good dude. Like, he supported his, his family and he gambled. He wasn't in debt or nothing like that. Yeah, but he was like a, like a billionaire or some shit like that. Yeah, he was a successful gambler. He was good at what he did. But which is crazy, like everybody, every every time you hear about these stories, the person behind them is like always nice, is like the best, like down to earth type of person, and all of a sudden you hear multiple stories of like when the situation happened, like, uh, oh well, there was two shooters, there's three shooters, fucking JFK type of thing. Oh, there was a shooter in the fucking plant, there's a shooter see, in the with, fucking hotel. See, see, the thing is with the JFK, that's a lot. That's it's the same thing though. It's a story for another time, but. Maybe there was multiple but it's the same shooters thing. there. Because remember, they, they showed the grassy knoll. They said that yeah, there could have been a shooter there. The, and those buildings surrounding it. I yeah. read like I read all about it. And it, and it didn't make nothing correlated. Like nothing. Oh, I, I, I haven't been there. It was in Austin, Texas. They they have the X's where he got, got yeah. the first shot. There's a bunch of X's where he was shot. And they show the grassy knolls and... No, I understand yeah, that, but it still yeah. doesn't... Like, like I've read about the articles and all this shit. It doesn't make sense. And nothing correlates. There's, there's like, there's two theories. There's, like, three shooters or two shooters. Well, it, it's just one of those things where it's just unsolved. And then on top of that, when they flew <coughs> the body over to the autopsy, <coughs> someone else in the fucking plane fucked with his body. There's something fucking really... Like, they fucking uh, basically castrated his whole face over. In the fucking plane. <clears throat> yeah, with that, with that um, autopsy, actually, they had it twice. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, because nothing correlated. Even the, the, fir- the first autopsy they did, apparently, they fucked up too much, and then they they got this really good autopsy uh, pathologist. Yeah, who was really good. I guess they redug his body and they did another autopsy on him, and the dude said, "Yeah, you know, the previous uh, pathologist, he made a lot of mistakes, and this is actually what happened." Well, he got paid to that. do like yeah. to to lie, like he got paid to lie, especially for the second autopsy to be doing it all over again. It's it. I believe myself. But their second pathologist they had, he was really good. He was on the, this TV show, well, on HBO, where he uh, did autopsies on bodies. Yeah, I like they blurred out his, their faces, but they actually cut into the body. I'm like, man, they're allowing this shit I, on TV. I mean, like me myself, I don't believe in these things because these people are like, if they're on TV, to me, they're hired to lie to you either way. Because just because they're famous, you'll believe it. I doubt it. The guy wasn't that famous, but he was a good pathologist. He had his own show, right? Well, it was not the show wasn't dedicated to him though. No, because okay, he was just a pathologist. Okay, well, there's you know I still because especially for that long and then for okay, you said there's two autopsies. Technically, there's three because the one that happened on the plane when they were flying the body over to the uh, to the person to do the fucking autopsy because the first one first they fucking castrated the whole fucking body. They opened it up while he was in the plane. And then second one was when he actually got to the building and he lied, said some the other bullshit. And then all of a sudden this third one, they did it all over again, but it was already too late. You can't, it's like diluting, diluting some sort of chemical. You dilute it once or it's diluted. But when you do it twice, it's already fully diluted. And then third time, you're like, you're already fucked. You can't find out what the fucking chemical is. Okay, let's say for the sake of this conversation, 
the reason why they shot JFK is because he knew too much. He did know too every, much. Everything. Because I've seen videos of him talking about, like, the, you know, like, the conspiracies and everything. Well, like not that. conspiracy. I mean, because he does talk about the shadow government. He says Yeah, like, he was talking about, like, the, yeah, that whole thing. A president. All right. There's all... And maybe when he did, like, his little, uh little tour in texas maybe they're yeah like, fuck this guy he's starting to catch on let's fucking kill this dude well he already caught on before that yeah i know that yeah but at the same time he the, uh, he's a president again he's a president and he knows more right exactly because he's a fucking an higher executive motherfucker that supposedly had to tell everybody what to do or that's what we all believe, but I mean, obviously, the security detail—they were in on it. They must have been in on it because, you know, you got to protect the president no matter what. And maybe they paid off some dudes, and maybe they let that person slide through and go up into that building and shoot him or whatever, or in the grassy knolls, because it had to be a fucking inside job. And that's what I'm talking about, like. There's people like that happening, and then a lot of people choose not to believe that. And then, but you see it in your face, but you still, it's kind of like hiding something in plain sight. You can't find it yeah. because. There, there was, a, remember, I don't know if you've seen that, that JFK documentary where they get all angles. Yeah, but. And I, remember that there's this other, this fucking Russian lady that they couldn't find. Oh, the babushka? The yeah. Babushka, like, yeah, yeah. I remember that. They were one. trying to get her. But they couldn't find her. Because she was taking pictures too, like. Like, if they got her pictures, it would have helped a lot. Yeah. would have known. But it's funny because, like, again, like, these, these, yeah. peop- these people talk about these things. And a lot of people just choose not to believe, like, the whole thing that we're talking about, like, Tupac and so forth. All these people talk the truth, but a lot of people tell them, oh, you're crazy. You know, like, what the fuck? And there's even more than that. There's people who, there's been, um, uh, what do you call it, military officials who actually been able to to expose these people but then all of a sudden they end up fucking people who came from Iraq who are talking the truth end up fucking dying out of the fucking blue there's this guy who created a fucking a car who runs in water and he got he all of a sudden his whole fucking trailer and his family got burned but all of a sudden he couldn't find his fucking plans you know that whole that whole car that runs on water I find that that wouldn't last very long <clears throat> excuse me it wouldn't last very long I believe it would last longer. I mean, it's H2O. You can get... Yeah, but see, the thing is, water evaporates. Yeah, really but fast. he probably did a... He could barely, probably converted it and all this shit. He did a, I'm pretty sure he did a lot of things to it. And then uh, I think one of the big car industries tried to buy his his, uh, his idea off. And they said, he said no. And well, no. you know, they have that. And then they also have a car that runs on cooking oil. True, but that doesn't make much. I mean, I don't know why what happened to that, but that really wasn't. It was but like that whatever. whole that whole thing now. It's those ideas are obsolete now. Now that they have electric cars, true. So it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take another break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. We had to take another break because uh, Pony had to use the restroom. Baño. Yeah. So what were we talking about again? JFK. But overall, what my whole point of this was that. There's these motherfuckers like Tupac who were exposing our own society, and people would decide not to believe in our society. But at the same time, we don't believe, like, like I believe he's still alive, but you don't believe in his life because it's really vague. Yeah, the, the, I mean, it's an ongoing conspiracy that he's still alive. I mean, who's to know? There's only theories. I just believe that that we're so we're. A lot of people think he's still, he's in hiding. On a fucking island or in Cuba or fucking somewhere. I don't know. I used to believe that that that, that, we're, that that we're so programmed to believe one thing instead of believing another thing. You know, we're so believed to like, you just believe like, oh, this way is the right way. If you go the other way, you're restricted from doing that. But there's some of us who would rather go to, the, go to the restricted area to see what actually does happen instead of like us believing what they produce. And then we don't know what they put in and stuff, right? That's uh-huh. basically how I believe. Like nowadays, like nowadays, some things are coming out, like uh, the whole GMO bullshit, Monsanto, and all this crap is coming out. You know, a lot of things are being exposed, but a lot of people don't want to choose not to believe it. You know, like we all know that that if you eat certain, like, uh, what is it? Uh, 
any certain foods that you'll 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 be sick you'll get sick from it but a lot of people don't choose to believe that you even also know that that certain uh recreational med uh drugs do work for certain diseases but the fda prefers not to let mm-hmm. you you know yeah. that's how things work like today i went to i went to a new, new training for a new job and it said that weed causes cancer and it also uh, it also destroys brain cells and I'm, i and i looked at i was just looking at the fucking thing i was like you fucking shitting me right i was like how the what this is like the dumbest thing i've ever heard but you know i had to go through it but i for my for sure know that all these things that they're saying is all bullshit it really depends in uh how or in what way you're growing this, these things you know marijuana mm-hmm. especially for cocaine Co- they were talking about cocaine it's like cocaine is a uh, because they also call it a uh, controlled substance meaning that you can control it you can do as much as you want or you can stop right well, it depends on the person, though. True, but you, we also know that cocaine, even cocaine, is being tested on. Cocaine is one of the leading ones that you'll have in aspirin, uh, Tylenol, and you also know that it is a stimuli, so it helps you concentrate. And then this, and on this fucking training, it said that, what is it? It said that it distracts you from little things that you're like your brain's all over the place. It's like not really. It did. Like, again, i done it. It helped me a little, in a lot of ways. I'm not saying to go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm just saying it did help me. It was a stimuli because I have ADHD. So it helped me concentrate. Because if you're giving uh, kids, what, Adderall? Ritalin. 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 There yeah. you go. If you give kids Ritalin, you put it, basically give them the meth. I mean, you might as just go lower uh, lower uh, drug than meth and just give them Coke, right? It's the same yeah. thing, and they're testing it on on, uh, on vision. They're testing on blindness too, because it helps on blindness. Yeah. Oh. See, there's a lot of studies, but people don't. Again, we're so trained to believe certain bullshit that we don't want to believe in because we're so trained to do that. Be programmed to you seeing one way, not another way. That's all. Like if you, they tell you, oh, if you take IB, uh, you take one, a pen, oh, what is it, ibuprofen a day or some shit like that, it helps you. Uh, uh, build up your immune system that's a lot of crap it, in reality your immune system is called what it's called because it builds up in zone so it kill it makes you be immune to sickness right it yeah, builds your antibody yeah, builds up yeah, in your yeah system. Your, your body fights off yeah exactly and, and it, but like there's that, a lot yeah. of studies saying that if you take an ibuprofen or some shit some sort of time a day it helps you not get sick which is a lot of crap because it doesn't it doesn't help you build up your immune system it is completely makes you dependent on that one pill but then if that doesn't work then you have to have a higher dosage i mean well it's more like it just supports you know whatever you have and you know again yeah so you should never ever take a pill to me i don't believe in pills if i have a headache or i'm sick i don't take medication you know i felt the same way before but you know when i get headaches i don't like to just wait it through I, i fucking have to take something now I'm not one of those persons anymore. Like, oh, I don't believe in pills. I'll take medication. Not me, because then you you kind of create your system to be rely on a pill. But I don't your... always rely on it because I hardly have those problems. See, that's what I'm saying. Know? But it's at the same time, very, it's only very, it's only so often that I have that kind of problem. See, I don't, I don't do that. I don't. I literally don't depend on it. It's like, nope, I'm good. Because I used to get really, every now and then I'll get these fucking really bad migraines, and it's 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 intolerable. True. I've been in that case, yeah. but I still wouldn't. I, I'm not just that one person. I won't do it. It just feels like... The best way I could describe how migraine feels, I don't know if you had one yourself. I have, yeah, of course. It feels like you have needles in your head and somebody's shaking. Yeah. It's fucking pretty bad. And that's why I do like what you, I... Like, when you have a migraine, you're sensitive to light. Yeah. You're sensitive to sound. I know that. And it's, you I, have nausea. When I feel like that, I... Yeah. You, literally, what helps me a lot is going to the gym. I literally go to the gym, sweat it out. And because I know it's going to tire me out and it, it helps me a lot because I'm sweating not all that. Junk. Yeah, there, there's a lot of that's one one thing that gets rid of it. And there's either you take something that has caffeine like Coke or or a lot of water, obviously water or or coffee or there's a lot of home remedies, but they don't all work. But there's one that that I haven't, I haven't tried yet, but they said taking cold shower helps. It does help. But, you know. 
cold shower because it makes your body get yeah, work I, well. I know, posture. I know, but uh, I only take cold showers if it's summer. If it's not summer, it's winter. It's too cold for that. I'm like, no, I'll pass. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you are sick, then you should because it's uh, it makes your body shake, so it makes your body, your muscles, kind of uh, not contract. But it makes your muscles rub. I guess you can call it create heat in your body. So your body gets tired. So when you get out of the cold water, you're laying on your bed. You're eventually going to fall asleep because your body's tired. I, mean, I never took a cold shower when I had a headache. But I did uh, run my head through cold water. Mm. Like in my garage, I'll just turn the cold water and put my head there for a little bit. And that's for like a 10, 15 minutes or so I feel better. But yeah, like, see, like, you're, like people are just dependent on certain things that... They like like I I've mostly almost every woman that I've met that has had likes uh eight hundred milligrams of ibuprofen that's a lot way too much that makes your stomach hurt if you're not used to it and then but they're so used to it because of cramps and so forth when they had their days going on right but then you know you're growing dependent to that like me like uh, when I used to smoke weed with my girlfriend my girlfriend only depended on weed. For that pain to go away. And it did work. That worked completely well. And she didn't have to grow depending on it. But now that we don't. Obviously you know she she's grown. She was able to go you know. Uh, so side with it. She was able to be able to uh, live with it. She It doesn't hurt her as much. Because she was ready. She knew how to control it. She it she's. What it your body. Once you stop depending on certain things. Your body is already going to fight it off for you. And then. Eventually, it will, you know, your body will help you get rid of it. Yeah, so so we're still trained to believe there certain things that, in reality, you should. Like, it's the same thing, like, what, say if we're getting a tattoo. You know, people, some people say, oh, it fucking hurts too much, blah, blah, blah. And there's some tattoo places that have, like, a numbing solution. Yeah. But a lot of the tattoo artists say it doesn't work. True. I mean, okay, look. I'm not saying that fucking tattoos don't hurt, because they fucking do. <laughs> you know, of course they're going to fucking hurt, but it's just, it all depends on your threshold of pain. You know? No, I, I understand that you like you, you could accustom to it. But yeah, I, like, I, I like getting tattoos. I again, wish I get more, but I just don't have the money for it. Again, we're so trained to believe certain things, and then people don't like to believe the truth instead of believe the lie, like a lot of... Like our society. Again, we're so trained to be entertained by other celebrities or other stupidities like monkeys. And you're over here like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. This is so cool. This is like, when in reality, it's like what you're doing is very wrong. It's like you're over here doing like the ice bucket challenge. You're, you're over here trying to get sick. Yeah, How I many mean, people will get sick of that? This, we're in the era of where stupidity. That and plus where everybody's just... Uh, a health free and only that is sensitive like really like fucking sensitive people like worry about shits. eating fucking fish they go oh there's mercury in the fish yeah like, who gives a fuck about that you could die any day I could die tomorrow you could die tomorrow true we're always there's always that slim chance that you might not be here tomorrow but we take that chance by by eating certain foods that's not recommended by fucking these fucking uh new generation hipsters i also believe that like we're in the generation where people are as fucking sensitive to everything like yeah ex- especially it's that. retarded yeah. they're like oh well. sense of that and like we've talked i'm sure we talked about this before in a previous podcast about people how people like to sue each other for stupid, stupid reasons re- yeah like like come on over dumb shit yeah it's really sensitive like really people are really sensitive that's it's this new era, I don't know, but this new era doesn't make sense. But in reality, you know, we're so programmed to believe yeah. these things because you should be pat in the back if you lost the games. Like, no, you need to learn how to lose. That's like, how it we works. Were, when we grew up, we had what was called tough love. Yeah. We didn't get like special treatment, even if we say if I was involved <laughs> in sports and my parents were like, oh, you, it's okay. You, you'll get it next time. <laughs> For gets- me, my dad, since I'm Filipino and Asians are super fucking strict, why you could have done better than that blah blah you're fucking stupid this and that yeah well, I don't think we didn't even get we didn't get special treatment whatsoever for the areas that we lived in <laughs> so fuck that yeah I mean exactly. we we were t- we had to grow tough no matter what yeah like nowadays the way we were treated as when we were growing up that was considered a form of child abuse but that's just called 
discipline. Discipline, yeah. See and the thing with new parents now, they they lack the discipline. They yeah. want to treat their kids like they're they're fucking, you know, like they're gonna be a prodigy one day. And it goes to down to that, like you're so everybody's so programmed to think stupidly instead of thinking more logically. And it's that's one thing people lack. They lack logic in yeah. this fucking place now. It's yeah, that's what it seems like now. It's it's retarded, dude. It's I don't know. I don't you know. Fuck it. But yeah, like again, we're program. We're that's this. It's we're just running the matrix. That's where we go. The fucking system is rigged. A lot of things are happening. People are exposed to us. But you know that's how shit goes. Fuck it. Yeah. I guess I me me myself like to tell the truth. Uh, when you know, I learned about all these things. I kind of. I I just I you know. When I decided to go to the restricted area, I kind of... It was a 25. What do you mean the restricted area? Like instead of thinking in one linear way, it's go go through this door. Only the open door is the one you should go through when the other door is unlocked and you can push that door and make a wider fucking opening. I think we're, we're one of the last peoples on... Well, in California at least, where we think of all the other... Like other options or other. I don't think so. I think this is how open we are to things. I think that's what it is. I mean, I I don't like, I, like there's not there's more than one outcome. Yeah, I, I myself like I always said I believe in unity. I don't believe in uh, segregation seg- uh, segregating each other because it's stupid. I mean, but you, that still exists. I still ex- exactly that's yeah. what I'm saying. Every puts or some in a certain group and believes certain stupidities. When it's like, wait, what are you talking about? You should probably unite and fucking you'll make more of a change than doing going separately, being the loner. Yeah, there's there's always a lot. There's always these few things that are never gonna. They're never gonna die out. Yeah, like hate is never gonna die out. Of course not. Racism's never gonna die out. Uh, fucking segregation is never gonna. And die. And that's not the rules of the game. Like yeah. those those are literally other rules of the game. Like. In order to be controlled, you need to believe in that you are a fucking you're small, and that that your race doesn't matter, that you're that you have no rights because you're a certain sex or yeah, you, you like, know. like people nowadays they they rely on fucking scandals like fucking celebrities and yeah, shit. Basically, like that's that. what news is that's now. All they care about is yeah. Scandals. People picking fucking looking at news. It's like oh fucking Kim this and fucking celebrity that bullshit. It's like, like what w- the fuck? What do you see when you watch CNN? It's either some scandal or some somebody dying or some mass shooting. Some stupid shit. Yeah. And people feed on that shit like they expect that shit daily. Yeah, and that's that's the fucked up part. There's no real news anymore. Real news doesn't exist. Real news is like reality and not this fake shit. I mean, real news is controlled by yeah. That's why a lot of 1%. people they, they they fucking they expect violence. Yeah. So because they're so accustomed and accustomed to it now. Yeah. You know that they can't have. It's like their daily dose of fucking because like, their coffee or something. The funny part is that the industries who own the news are owned by. Not even by a local, uh, by the local government or the local country, like uh, Fox News is owned by the Saudi Arabian prince, and a lot of people don't know this, and people decide to believe this bullshit. CNN is owned by like fuck some other one percenter that that is in Saudi Arabia too, and a lot of people don't know this shit either. Yeah, I mean, okay, there are some benefits of listening to new like certain like things that are like, oh, that's interesting. But as far as that, it's like, that's all it is. True. But yeah, fuck it. Like, so in <clears> other <throat> words, yeah, there's a lot of people, there's, again, there is people going to hiding, you know, that a lot of people don't believe in. Again, I believe Tupac's still alive for certain reasons and people won't believe this, but I mean, it, I'm just, sure there's a bunch of people that's I'm pretty sure, but it didn't, if you are alone, motherfucker, but if you also think of a society and logically, You'll see why this, you know, why people believe this because people have exposing the truth, but people decide not to believe it. If if it's not a fucking Kim Kardashian or it's not a fucking Justin Bieber or some other shit, then it, yeah. you know, it's I'll, not real. I'll believe that Tupac's alive if I see a video of him. True. Or if he goes on a radio show and says, "I'm alive." Well, I don't know about that. I mean, that's I'm the, alive, that's too that's way too fucking open to be doing. No, like, or again, if I get a message like on my desktop saying. Tupac's still alive. It's like the several. You, you can meet him, blah blah blah, right here. It's like the and several. Maybe. It's like the several rules of being a burglar. You don't fucking steal from your neighborhood. You don't steal from near okay, your, your for area. For the sake it's, of this conversation, once again, if he is alive, 
What? Shit, now I lost my train of thought. Yeah, but see, if he's still alive, he won't, there wouldn't be no information about it because then that would be good hiding. No one ever, like, if you want to hide yourself or you don't want to get caught, you never say anything. Nothing. Like if you like a person if okay there is a small percentage that he may have faked his fucking death maybe it was like a body double or you know how people have yeah. body doubles like like uh, Saddam had body doubles yeah of like course. they they killed off a bunch they even of them. showed like a lot of movies on yeah. it too Saddam had bu- doubles uh, Osama bin Laden had doubles all those fuckers have doubles uh, who's to know maybe Tupac did have a double maybe it was somebody that just looked like him acted just like him yeah. talked like him. And maybe they killed him. And maybe he was like, fuck it. You die, and I'm going to go live on a fucking deserted island. Or something. But in reality, think about it. Like, so, if you go rob a bank, right? You go rob a bank. What's the first thing that you're trained to say? Or talk to somebody that you robbed the bank. You want to get that fame that you robbed the bank because you want to be a super popular guy and then spend all his money. I don't know. If I robbed the bank, I wouldn't want to be known. But, I mean, that's what everybody says. But in reality, because you want the fame of it and then you, like, the whole media telling you, oh, someone robbed the bank and who this is, like, blah, 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 this much money you and know, this if, is the if biggest. If I were to rob a bank, I would probably do the same thing with didn't Point Break. We're, like, fucking president mask. No, but, no, that, that's, but then, I understand yeah. that, but I'm saying, like, like, if you really rob a bank, then you don't say anything. You literally just shut the fuck up, live your life, yeah. live like Shit, you. Man, if I rob the bank for like say millions of dollars, I'm out of here. True, but then that kind of that kind of I'll run to fucking Mexico where the value of a dollar is. But more. at the same time, that kind of makes it seem like you're you're uh, suspicious because you because of your because of the facts that you've never you don't go to Mexico much but all of a sudden all this shit happens you go to Mexico you know what I mean it's like it's well, kind it's just of, one example yeah like the, I'll go somewhere exactly you know? so that I mean that's, obviously I'm not gonna stay here yeah but what I've noticed from all these movies and all these things like these people like brag about it and all this shit I was like why would you in my head I was like why would you ever brag about this shit yeah something that's like okay you did it and that's but it, it. That also talk, that also goes to correlate to program you're like because you're the movies you're so programmed to fucking show it off you're so dumb not to understand like what they're doing is wrong that the movies are showing you what not to do instead of what to do but a lot of people think oh this is what you should do because if you do that then you don't say anything you don't spend much money and you live off like you and you work a continuous day like any other day just spend as much as you would if you were yeah like a a job yeah and then you wait and then later on probably yeah okay don't draw too much attention to yourself don't buy a fucking mansion or buy a car with with paid in cash full yeah and then and that goes back into programming so yeah. like if you fucking if you fall well i'm not saying to go ahead and do it either like if i, were, <laughs> I don't want to get if control. i ever to, to rob a bank i would probably buy some things maybe get like a like live off like a motel for a while and then eventually get a house but you know just like kind of gradually do it like so i don't draw too much attention to myself you know I don't know about money, but I'd be probably doing it differently. <laughs> but I mean, what I'm trying to say is that that you know, be smart. <laughs> I'm not saying yeah. to go again. I'm not saying to go ahead and fucking do it. This is this is just a fair fucking theory for educational fucking reasons. Do not I'm do sick of argument. Yes, do not do this uh, again. But I've been tempted, you know, like. It's like, shit, man, should I rob a bank? And, and it's funny, too, because that even goes into blur- burglarizing. It's like you... Doing like a B&E? Yeah, you, you don't... You, okay, you don't steal from your own neighborhood. <laughs> Obviously, you get caught faster. Well, yeah, that's And at the same time, you don't show... Again, you don't show off your shit you have. If you're going to steal, at least do it a county over where no one knows you. You know, it's like, that's how... I, that's You know, if I, I was a burglar, I would steal something. And then I'll leave something behind. <laughs> Wait a minute. A shoe. <laughs> somebody somebody took something, but they left something behind. Not like, not like a shoe, but something. Uh, one van shoe. <laughs> but, but something they never had. Like, I would leave, like, I don't know, for like, like, like a fucking stereo yeah. or like a TV. Like, oh, shit. So he stole something and gave me back something. something. Like, yeah. But you know what? Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of condoms here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. At the same time, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it, some of these things that we see in life, like... Like an Xbox and so it's really distracting. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. I, 
you know, I've been broke all my life. And, and you know, little things here and there. I, you know, barely bought, bought a desktop, which is fucking amazing. It even has Bluetooth on it, which I, I did not know that. Yeah, that. most laptops have Bluetooth. I didn't know the computers were made like that. That's just, that's, my, mine doesn't have Bluetooth. No, I mean, like, the screen yeah. has Bluetooth in it. So I connect it to the system, and it connects directly. Well, it's weird. This one doesn't have Bluetooth, but my old one does. Well, that's kind of strange. Yeah. Well, because then again, that's Toshiba, and that, that laptop was like a thousand something compared that's just, to this one. Is that's insane. Friendly. It's just fucking. It's weird. like three something. Some of the things that there is around there is luxurious, and nice. But again, I I believe that we should live in a minimal way of things instead of putting yourself in debt. Because if you make a three digit paycheck, but it's the American way. The it, American way is getting yourself in debt. And exactly, and it, like, come on, I'm in debt. And that's why people complain a lot. Like you living, you're living in a three digit paycheck, but you're spending a four digit paycheck, but you don't have. You know what I mean? You're putting yourself in the fucking debt. Yeah, so it was like that thing we were talking about before in our previous podcast. Like, rich people spend less because they don't want to spend too much money. And uh, people with less money, they want to spend big because they want to seem like they're rich. Yeah, and again, because society tells you to believe this bullshit. Like, you, you can be living in a shittiest apartment and have a fucking Corvette. All of a sudden, but you're in debt because you have to pay this fucking car and you can't pay your fucking apartment complex, right? Right. right. And, and society telling you, like, it's because these fucking celebrities have that, you need to have it. I've met, I've seen this a lot. But yeah, fuck that. System, we, we're, the the game is rigged. Let's just say that. <clears throat> this this system that we live in is so rigged, but if you know how to be able to play it well, and you know how to live it well, then you're perfectly fine. If you know how to... If you're like again, if you're if you make a three digit number of a paycheck, then you live in probably a two digit to three digit number and enough. But you make you know, you're over here spending like the thousands of dollars. I mean, what the fuck are you doing? You have no reason to be over here because you don't make a thousand dollars a month, right? Or a fucking right. two yeah. week every two yeah. weeks. Mm-hmm. You have to live in the area that you should be living in because then you're just fucking yourself over. Again, debt happens a lot. I've been in everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, it's it's a very common thing, you know. People get themselves in debt. I mean, if you walk in the street or you walk in like... Say you're just out in public and you interview people. And chances are maybe 30% of those people are in debt. Yeah. You know? I know a lot of people are in debt. And it's, yeah. that's the fucked up part because they don't have them. to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I was reckless. Well, okay, maybe I was reckless. But I'm not spending like that anymore. Yeah, because you understand the fact that you your limitations now from trial and error. I just, I mean, I wasn't spending that much because I thought I was a big shot. I was spending that much because I kind of needed to in between paychecks. Well, I mean, that's different necessity and luxury. Yeah, exactly. Different things. That and plus maybe sometimes I'll luxury. Like, I think it's luxury. Just you know, yeah. You know. But that's what I'm saying. Like so, so if you come, you know, to terms that. A trial and error. You try it and you fucked up. <laughs> so you. It's a part of being American, you know. No, it's part of being a fucking adult. <laughs> or being an adult because people, an American, in reality, an American would be in debt so no much, so yeah. much that they don't even care how I mean, much you, debt they're in. You live and you learn. If you're not, if you don't experience the, you know, the, the American dream without errors, you're lucky. Well, I mean, I think as an adult, if you do grow up and then you never commit, if you commit, if you never commit an error. Then again, you come in living into an area where, oh, I'm not a loser type of thing. But then you come yeah. to be a loser, you whine about it, and you bitch about it. I guess that makes you somewhat of a better person, but at the same time... You're privileged, in other words, yeah, too. Yeah, because, you know, the, the, the whole saying that says, uh, what is it, um, you live and you learn? Yeah. Well, that's basically like being an adult, you trial and error, that's what you do, so shit yeah. happens. like... Like parents, like they have the first. But children. sometimes you don't live and you learn because there's some people out there that continue making mistakes. Oh yeah, because these people it. don't understand it, yeah. and people don't understand how to when to stop or they don't have to be. That's adult. the one thing now nowadays. Ignorance is huge. Ignorance is bliss, man. We've said that before. Yeah, yeah ignorance it, is it, so it really bliss. Fucking is. Yeah, like yeah, certain people that we know, but uh. Yeah. But mm-hmm. ignorance is very bliss. That's one thing that we'll never get rid of. Ignorance is always going to be there, and there's nothing we could do. Yeah, about it. I think in society now, everybody thinks they believe they're right. Everybody's a fucking critic. Everybody has a degree in. in yeah. In, uh, they have a degree in bullshit. Yeah, basically. You know? I guess, uh, I guess we'll cut it short, right? Fucking internet heroes and shit. Fuck that. 
Well, anyways, yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, we, there's a possibility that me and uh, me and Pony here we're gonna be on a, a, a on a podcast because we got an offer from this guy. So just look forward to it. Uh, if you guys want to check out that dude, he, he it's called uh, the FMK Show. Uh, you could just Google it or yeah. It's, I mean, I listened to a couple of his podcasts. It's pretty interesting, but yeah, just. I don't know when it's going to happen. It might be either maybe next week or this week, but who knows. But anyways, uh, thanks for listening. This is Pony. See you guys later. Peace, bitch.